and like one of the sectors that I'm super, super highly in investing into and they have invested into is GameFi, which uh, some people in the crypto space I was going to bring like that up. Me. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, some people in the crypto space don't like that name. They they like they, mm. like everything. Everyone's being niched. Like I'm play to earn. No, I'm earned. I'm, I'm play to win. You know, or whatever the concept. But I like saying GameFi as like all of it basically is um, this is a trillion dollar industry coming in the next five years. Like the amount of money, the amount of players that are jumping into the GameFi space is insane. Like the kind of money you can make on uh, both playing video games as well as like investing in video games is here. Like. When you, when you play video games for the most part, you have to buy skins and you do this or like, or you jump into a game and you, you, you level your character up to a certain level and you unlock all the, all the, all the character content, you did all the missions, you have all this fucking sick gear and then the new game comes over and then you have nothing again. Yep. So imagine, imagine how decked up or how rich you guys would be if, since, because all you guys are playing video games. I, I played video games forever. You know, I play, I love playing Skyrim and like. Fallout 3, and I mean, I played all tons and tons and tons of games, computer games, World of Warcraft. Like, that was a fucking three-year black hole in my life. And Charlie <laughs> with his FIFA, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, was a top guild, I mean, it was, was a pally tank and stuff, though, for sure, during World of War, uh, during uh, Wrath of the Lich King and stuff like that. But imagine that all this gear and all that stuff that I worked so hard for um, was able to transfer over. What would happen is men, who, men and women who played games for a very long time now are actually pretty wealthy in the video game world. And that wealth can then be translated to real world wealth and stuff like it. Well, like with World of Warcraft, right? People, there were people who would work all day and night, sell their gold to these companies, and then people would then buy gold from those companies. And so you would, you'd have to kind of have an arbitrary way of like transforming your, your, your uh, basically um, in-game assets into cash. Well, now every asset is, can be turned into cash. Everything's interchangeable. Like I could take the shirt off, send it to you, and then put an, a different shirt on. And, and just pocket the difference. Yep. And then like that's how, and then, you know, with pe people who are in the space, I mean, th this is crazy. If you start off pretty young, you can, you can become a millionaire off of playing games. It's crazy. Yeah, and a lot of the gaming community right now, right, is like, we don't want NFTs. We don't want crypto, right? Like we want to keep it kind of status quo the way things are, but there's going to be kind of a couple things that do bring people over. One, right, Square Enix right now is basically, you know, using basically doing nfts for the 25th anniversary of uh final fantasy 7 so you know that's gonna hit you know yeah. and buying uh, some of those engine and polka dot right i believe yes. Yep. Yes. yep and so you know for for me i never played final fantasy 7 but hell i'll go buy one of those because i know the fan base is huge the money the money is there right so hell just grab some of those nfts it'll be good but um in terms of you know the prize pools Right, so what DCC was talking about there, right, is like people doing some flips within ecosystems, essentially. Um, but also, you know, with some of this game five space, I mean, professional gamers who you know go to a lot of tournaments, right, they're going to look at crypto and they're just going to look at the money that's being made in some of these game five spaces. So they're just like, what? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and that's just going to bring you know bring the professional gamers in once they get good at the crypto space. I mean, I think a lot of the industry will follow. I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm telling you, like let's just say, like overnight, like we went, we like everyone went from like regular, it was still gaming and, and really professional gamers all went to like crypto games or just like where every game is like has NFTs and everything like that. The income generated for guys in the professional space is probably going to increase five to ten times on app for the average guy. The top of the the top of the heap, the the best guys in the world, they're pretty much going to start making like fifty, a hundred million plus a year, way more than that. I mean, I'm talking about crazy money. You know, it's actually kind of funny. Because